What's up, guys? This is Travis from Washed Up Media, and I'm here standing in the freezing cold it's with the warm out. lead singer of the Acacia Strain, yeah. Vincent Bennett himself. Vincent, Hi. Hi. how the hell are you, dude? Cold. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's a brisk winter eve. Yep, it's the holiday season, and we are here standing in the cold. It's fantastic. So it's fantastic. Just great. So, Vincent, uh, how was the trip from Rhode Island last night? You guys played Rhode Island? Yeah, it's long. It was long. They call it Long Island because it takes a really friggin' long time to get here, no matter where you come from. Uh, literally. It's a factual. it's an 80-mile drive, but it's a f- it's like four hours. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you guys don't know how to drive. Uh, I'm not even... I'm not going to talk any crap. It's no? just hard to get here. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you being here. We appreciate you bringing the trek out. Yeah. We're here in front of Amityville Music Hall, which is a venue that is about the size of my mother's living room. It's not big. So, Vincent, what can we expect from this... Tonight's small venue I don't close even, quarters. I don't even know what to expect. Honestly, I walked in here and I was like, oh, good Lord, what are we going to do? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. It's going to be scary. First time that I had, a, I went to a show here, I had the exact same thoughts. It's sold so. out, yep. which is yeah. comforting, which just means it's going to be kill or be killed, I yeah. think. Exactly. This is Long Island, after all. No one here is happy. Yeah. So, as far as this tour goes, all small venues. Yeah. What was the thought process behind that? Oh, we just like to end the year with an uh, intimate event, you know? Like, it's the holiday season. We want to do stuff and, uh, and just do stuff that seems comfortable and uh, how it's supposed to be. And uh, I don't know. Just wanted to, we just wanted to have a good time. We play, we play venues of all sizes, but our favorite is the small ones. And that's the fans' favorites also. So why not do it? For Christmas. Absolutely. And it doesn't get more intimate than this, let me tell it's you. It's going to be hot and sweaty, and then everybody's going to come outside and freeze to death. Yep, exactly. Like, um, I can't feel this hand, so I'm going to switch hands. Yeah, yeah. Just pass it off every yeah. you know, few seconds. Yeah. Um, so speaking of tours, uh, it's no secret the Acacia Strain, you guys are, are road dogs. You're constantly touring. It is not a secret. You did Canada, the entire U.S., basically playing continent all year. Yeah. How is it that you have able to master the art of the tour life and home life? Because you do a really good job of that, I know. It's, it's a special just, balance. Like you have to, you have to balance it so you tour long enough where you miss home, and you're home long enough where you miss tour. Mm-hmm. And if you can find that, Jesus. hey, <laughs> if you can find that balance, uh, you got a, you got a winning combination, I think. Yeah, you can walk. It's fine. Um, We've kind of taken up the entire street. Yeah, here, we're so. just on the sidewalk. Yeah. So if people walk by, it's this is just life. No, you don't have to do that either. No. Happy holidays. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you just have to find the balance between missing home and missing the road. And nice. if you can find that, it takes. It took us a while to figure it out because we were doing. We used to do like eight months out of the year, and it caused members to leave the band, and it caused people's relationships to fail, and. People are getting evicted for their, from their apartments or being forced to live with their parents. So what we did was figured out, like, how often can we go on tour and still maintain a healthy home life? And that's that's the real formula. And it differs from band to band. Like, there's no, there's no like, constant for that. There's no pie. You know, there's no... Uh, there's no constant. So you have to figure it out for yourself. It's all, it's all situational. Um, and you were put in a situation with this band where you had to, this is how you survive. This yeah. is how you, so. Yeah, I mean, um, either that or you can find a job when you're at home where, who understands like, oh, I'm going to leave for two months and I need to come back and be able to make money. Yep. And everybody's kind of struck that uh, kind of bargain with their employers also. So it's. That that's sense. helpful. Well, you've mastered that art, you know, and there's, that's, you know, also like no secret. Um, just keeping with every, a lot of the things that you just mentioned. So yeah. over the last two years, you have gone through a significant lifestyle change. Um, yeah. And we're like, I'm super happy for you. I know yeah. all your fans who follow you are. I'm surprised that they are, honestly, because yeah. I've, I've kind of made a reputation and a career out of being this just miserable uh, guy. And I was worried that if I showed any signs of positivity, then, then there'd be like, uh, there'd be backlash. And I'm glad that everybody's kind of pulling for me. Yeah. And I hope to I hope to to pass that along to other people. Like I say uh, I say to everybody, sometimes all it takes is one thing. Just change one thing in your life to make it better. And that can 
It can be anything. It can be uh, the food you eat. It can be the if you exercise or anything. Um, just change one thing. The rest is uh, the rest. Is, I'm sorry. I'm distracted by all these people. <laughs> the, one, the one thing you change could change everything about your life, and uh, it it it's not. It's not healthy to be that angry all the time. I mean, you can be angry sometimes. It's it's, it's a natural human emotion, but yeah. just to be miserable, to, just to be miserable for the sake of being miserable, it's not worth it. it you deteriorate. Yeah. You're mentally deteriorating. You're physically deteriorating. Like you it affects you. Your own misery, it affects basically. you. Yeah, exactly. And if it affects you in every way possible, so yeah. um, I used to think positivity was a joke. I used to think positivity was fake, but I'm getting there. You know, I'm happy for I just, you. Now. I think 2018 was one of the best years of my life, and it's yeah. just because I changed a couple of things about myself. You know? That's super important, and, yeah. I, and I mean everything you just mentioned was super. Uh, find a find a person that can help. I know it's not necessarily like one person's job to make you happy, but yeah. if you can find a person or a group of people who reflect their positivity on you, and you can reflect their, your positivity on other people, like a little bit can change everything. You yeah. know. No, oh, you're right, and that's a perfect way of putting it. Yeah. The one question that I have with everything that you just said, though, um, when I listen to Grave Bloom, Grave yeah. Bloom was a very specific moment, a time in your life. Yeah. And if you listen to the lyrics and you listen to that album, it, it's it's like it's like it's tangible almost. Yeah. You know, how do you feel like? Because I know you're constantly writing. Yeah. Your new your newfound headspace and your newfound lifestyle. Do you anticipate that maybe changing your art a little bit? No, I don't think so. Case of Strange is a certain kind of band, and. Uh, no two records have been about the same thing anyways mm -hmm. so i mean you know continent was an outward journey grave Loom was an inward journey coma which was a fiction uh and and it's just the next record's just going to be about some other uh topic some other theme gotcha. it's not necessarily going to be about me because i've done that enough i don't need to write about myself anymore um we have like a thousand records and like six of them are about uh, my personal journey, so I don't need to. I don't need to talk about myself anymore. I don't think so. I'll just talk about other things. Like I said, it's not. It's, it's okay to be angry sometimes. So I think the anger uh, can still be reflected in the music as a way to uh, get rid of the anger. You know, it's a. Everybody needs an outlet, and mine just happens to be music and writing lyrics and, and getting it off my chest. So. Any way I can, I will. Uh, musically or conversationally, even I don't know. That's find awesome. somebody to talk to can help also. Perfect. And you know, whenever I'm not going to ask you any questions right. about that, but whenever that happens, as far as the the next LP or whatever, yeah. I'm super anticipating it. I don't know when that's going to happen, but so, uh, we have ideas. We have really creative ideas, like not just for the album itself but the presentation and what we want to do with it and how we want to roll it out so that's to be discussed later in the future because we're still still talking about it awesome dude yeah nice. um do you feel like video games at all help you kind of like in your headspace because for me i know that like when i was when i was miserable yeah one thing that kind of helped me was making more time to do things that i wanted to do video Absolutely. games was a huge part of yeah it. you have to you have to do things for yourself to make yourself happy yeah uh, video games can provide an escape that that exists in a in a different realm of of existence. You know, it's a uh, it, it helps you get away from uh, this plane and kind of transport yourself somewhere else without being like absolutely corny. But it's like anything like that, like reading a book, watching a movie, playing video games. Like for me one of the hardest times of my life I found World of Warcraft and it sounds kind of it sounds stupid and it sounds cliche and it sounds like whatever sounds really nerdy but World of Warcraft helped take my mind off of all of the terrible things that were happening in my life and it helped me escape and it and it brought me uh, new friendships and it brought me closer to the friends I already had and uh, I I thank Blizzard and World of Warcraft for existing in that moment in my life because if I didn't have them I don't know what would have happened you know I needed I needed an escape and that was it yep you know right now I have Pokemon Go or uh, Let's Go Eevee <laughs> and that's more lighthearted but it's still something for me to do uh, and it's really fun if our, you, if our you camera guy Sean is super into everything yeah would be I love Pokemon I'm 36 years old and I love Pokemon whatever awesome that's great fight me 
that's good to hear, dude. I just had to ask because I know that you're super into video games, and I am too. Yeah. And I'd be remiss if I didn't bring that up. Absolutely, I, yeah. I mean, old and new. There's, there's no. If you like it, you like it. Yeah. Don't let the critics let you. Don't let the critics make you think. Oh well, I shouldn't like this game, or I shouldn't like this band, or I shouldn't like this movie. Whatever, like what you like, and that's it. Awesome. I uh, hate that I'm so cold right now. So I was gonna say, my I can't really feel my hands. So I'm just yeah. gonna ask you one more question. Yeah. The Acacia Strain is in its 18th year of being a full Are touring oh, powerhouse God, of a band. That just made me feel old. I'm sorry. It's uh, okay. Me too. Um, <laughs> you guys have stood the test of time, and you've been able to to keep keep your sound fresh and keep churning out new music and there have been bands that have come and gone in yeah. your specific genre I don't want to pigeonhole it to just deathcore but metal as right. a whole and your sure. specific genre how are you How? what do you attribute the majority of the success what elements I have no idea uh, we just get along I mean there has been like kind of a revolving door of members and that doesn't really like that doesn't loan itself to to staying power sometimes but in this case Every time we get a fresh face in the band, we get a fresh brain in the band, and uh, it helps uh, people stay on board, and it helps with the with the writing process. And we're one of those bands that, like you said, we've been around for a very long time, and I think a lot of it is nostalgia for people. And we, a lot of bands, won't play old stuff, won't play old music, and uh, that's dumb, that's stupid, because there's people that like happy holidays. There's people that like new stuff, there's people that like old stuff, and we try and play everything for everybody. Uh, we, we know that we've been a band for as long as we have, and we have songs that are 15 years old, and people want to hear those songs, so we play them, and that's important. You know, There's a lot of bands out there where I stopped listening to them after their second record, and they've been a band for however they have seven records now, and I just want to hear the songs that I know. You know. So we try and play everything for everybody, and that... I think is the most important part because people know when they come to an occasion strange show, they're going to hear at least a good handful of songs that they want to hear and not just songs that we want to play because we want to play them, you know? Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Vincent, thank you for your time. Yeah, no I know it's freezing. I'm sorry not, I kept you out here so long. It's like six degrees outside. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's December, December holiday season. So thank you. Merry again. Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Of course. Washed up media, like subscribe, Hope you had a good one. I know I did. It was great. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. I appreciate it. Thank you. I couldn't. Oh, it's very good.